Oh, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with Devil's Fan TV, man. Back at you on the video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the video. Let's get to today's topic. And that's going to be this Ravens injury report, all right? Uh, day by day, week by week, the Ravens um, went through a big time injury crisis. There's still plenty of guys missing, but they are starting to get healthy and healthier by the day. And uh, let's just hop right into it, all right? So, um, Jalen Armour Davis, full participant after being limited. So, that's great. He upgraded. Rashad Bateman, back-to-back -back full days. Uh, Odell Beckham, back-to-back -back limited days. Slow progress, but that's good. He could be limited all week and still play on Sunday. We'll see what happens with that. Um, Justice Hill, still limited. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, limited. But the good thing is that he's practicing on back-to-back -back days, right? There was no limited to DMP, so that's good. All right, Morgan Moses from DMP to limited. Morgan Moses is a guy that he'll play through almost anything. <laughs> I mean, Coming here to the Ravens, he had a big, long streak of not missing games in the NFL. So, I would think it's going to take something pretty extraordinary to keep him off the field. So, we'll see what happens from here. But it's good to see that he at least practiced for the first time uh, this week. All right. Odafe Owe is still out. Uh, the Ravens are, not, are probably not going to have Odafe Owe this week. Um, Ronnie Stanley, Marcus Williams, both full participants on both days. And then we got Daryl Worley on DMP on back-to-back -back days. Now, Daryl Worley's a good player, uh, but the Ravens are getting some guys back, like a Marcus Williams. They still got Geno Stone, got Kyle Hamilton. So his role was going to be cut down a little bit just the special teams, but it's still an important part of the uh, the team equation. Just three phrases to the game. Daryl Worley was a good special teams player and pretty good on defense as well. So you know, hopefully he gets back soon. Um, but big news is obviously Ronnie Stanley. Uh, Ronnie Stanley missed last week, as we know. The Ravens had some trouble dealing with Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett had a hell of a game, but he didn't completely wreck the Ravens' game plan. But he still played really, really well. And you know, you would hope with Ronnie Stanley, if Ronnie Stanley was there, things would have went a little differently. Obviously, the Ravens still won the game, so it all went, you know, all went fine. But um, if Ronnie Stanley could come back this week, that's great, right? Um, the Ravens are going to need to be at full strength. Uh, the Steelers' pass rush is no joke. We know about T.J. Watt, um, Alex Highsmith. So T.J. Watt's going to primarily be lined up over the right tackle. So, you know, if we can get Morgan Moses back healthy, or even if Ronnie Stanley comes back, he plays left tackle, that gets Pat McCarry, Pat McCarry at, at right tackle. And, you know, you got some more stability there to say throwing, like, you know, Falele out there who's still a little bit inexperienced, you know what I mean? So, um, all in all, this is a really, really good update for the Ravens. Um, really good injury report as far as guys that you want to see back out there on the field. Now, one guy that's not listed on here that was listed yesterday is Keaton Mitchell. Um, I'm not sure why, but uh, according to Justin Rebeck, he's practicing. He's fine. Um, the Ravens could very well activate Keaton Mitchell to the 53-man uh, roster. Um, I would love to see it, especially if Justice Hill can't go. Because like I said, Justice Hill is limited on back-to-back -back days with a foot and hamstring. So if he can't go, I would love to see Keaton Mitchell get action. Um He's got the kind of uh, speed and explosiveness that Justice Hill has, but I think even a little faster. Maybe even a little, he might be one of the fastest players on the team, period, uh, Keaton Mitchell. So um, I hope that, you know, Ravens can get him out there on the field, hopefully. Uh, we'll see what happens as he continues to progress uh, coming off of IR as well. So for the Ravens, you know, it's really big news here. You know, you got Jill Armour Davis. You, that, that's more depth at cornerback. Rashad Bateman, right? Um, I know we're all kind of, you know, tired of seeing Rashad Bateman on these kind of injury reports. It is what it is, you know what I mean? But uh, the good news is that he's practicing, right? So hopefully that leads them to actually being able to play. And um, the Ravens can use all the receiver help of that that they can get, honestly, right? Uh, they have guys there, you know, still got Zay and, and Avalor and all these kind of guys like that. But if you get Rashad Bateman out there, that's just another threat for the defense to have to worry about. And um, I'm happy that he's practicing in full, right? Even if Odell is limited, and maybe can't go this week versus Steelers, there's still a strong possibility of getting Rashad Bateman back. And that's good news for the Ravens. So there's pretty much only good news here. I mean, look, of course, you would love to see Odafi Owe come back, um, you know, just because the Ravens kind of need his, uh, need outside linebacker help, uh, you know, guys like Tyus Bowers or things like that. But as far as the Ravens go, this is, this, this is pretty good. This is pretty good, right? From where we were at the starting season, like, oh, here we go again with the injury crisis because it was very much in effect. They're slowly getting back healthy, right? And um, as of right now, the Ravens are right now the best team in the AFC North at the very least. And if they win this game versus the Steelers and they go to 4-1, they could kind of 
put a stamp on the division right now, but this early in the season, only in week five. So uh, very, very good injury report for the Ravens. Uh, good news, starters coming back. Um, I think we are going to see Marcus Williams this weekend, hopefully. I mean, he was full participant last week, but, you know, some of y'all brought up a good point that maybe the Ravens just didn't play him because they knew they were going against a backup quarterback, so why risk Marcus Williams in that game? So I come around to that line of thinking. I understood that sitting them after being full participant. So maybe this week, Kenny Pickett is going to play for the Seals. At least that's how it looks right now. So Marcus Williams gets back out there. Ravens are pretty much at full strength um, besides a couple pieces here and there, right? So it's looking up for the Ravens. Now, hopefully nobody gets hurt during the game. But as of right now, as it currently stands, things are looking up for the Ravens. It's a good time to... Um, you know, really get excited about the team because they're already 3-1 and one and they're only getting healthier. So that's the Ravens injury report for today. That's my thoughts on it. Uh, you know, give me a guy's thoughts on it and I will talk about it in the comments, man. But it's Gabriel. This is on Fan TV. I'm out.